Vader. Remember how I was unable to get your body pillow accessory? <laughs> yes. Why would you bring up such a tender subject? The reasoning to my internal battle I bear to struggle with every day of my existence. Well, uh, don't fret any longer. I may have your resolve. Did you buy it for me? <laughs> Not exactly, sort of. Uh, let me just show you. I won't lie, my senses are tingling. There we go. What do you think? Hi, Summer! Give it to me! I'm so happy! It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Hello everyone, I'm Olive Blade and welcome to my wonderland. Today I've got a very special figure. I pre-ordered this from Sugo Toys and I can't believe it, she is finally here. Now just admiring the packaging, I just love the tape Sugo Toys use. Not to mention they put a sticker on the front and the figure I got is none other than the Overlord Albedo Fnex 1 7th scale wedding version by Furio. I'm so keen to crack this open. And look at that neatly packaged little bundle. And here we are, I better, I shouldn't be shaking around, but I'm just super keen. Ah. And this tape, I will never get sick of this tape. And what am I listening to over here? I literally just read the box over here, Snowy. Happy Merry Christmas, I guess. <laughs> I legit just put that down, Snowy. Look at him. Right then, there you go. Not even five seconds out of the box, and the cat has claimed it as his own. He gets the box, I get a figure. We're all happy here. Now then, cutting open this tape. You can actually peel off the tape pretty easily, but I got too impatient and decided to start cutting it open. Ooh, you can already, already start to see the box. Get this corner off. So tightly packaged. I've got to compare whoever packaged this. And I thought we were about there, but no, we have another layer. We have a plastic bag, so I have to give credit. 10 out of 10 for whoever packed this. So go toys, so far. Looking really good. <laughs> I might lie, I have quite a few pre-orders with them at the moment, and I am very happy thus far at their service. Highly recommend. I will link their website down in my description. By getting to the beautiful figure, ah, looking at this box, and <laughs> I'm just so excited. It looks beautiful, and you get the artwork on the side too. I actually haven't seen the original artwork, so looking at it now, it looks absolutely stunning, and I can use it as a reference to see how well they replicated this scene. Feeling absolutely classy, and you've got the window at the top there. I also don't mind me adjusting the lighting so you can have a proper view of her in the box without too much reflection. Playing around a bit more with lighting to try to get a bit more better footage, but we'll see how we go. I'm still, still learning every day and yeah. <laughs> now then, let's crack this bad girl succubus open. <laughs> the box bam 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 slip it up easy enough it didn't get caught and plastic oh there's quite a lot of plastic layers here I'm not not too keen to open these up and we have the instructions and as you can see it's for the body pillow of Einsama and also for herself there's actually quite a few pieces to Put on! Look at that. <laughs> now then, I just have to quickly say, look at the inside of this box. Isn't it just beautiful? I, the attention to detail, you've got the feathers in the background, all the beautiful flowers which are also included in her bouquet, and the colour scheme is very, very sweet, unlike her bloodthirst. 
Now then, of course, I had to get the limited edition of this with the body pillow because I got the Nendoroid, but I didn't get the special edition because I couldn't get a good deal for it. It was just too much. I didn't want to pay an extra $50 just for the extra limited piece. I'd rather not have it or make my own. So <laughs> this might make up for it, though. <laughs> Now then, opening the first layer of plastic, and hello, my dear. I am just so gobsmacked. I'm not, I don't know what it is, but this figure just looks so breathtaking. Look at the dress. They've coloured it very well. They've added, like, a pearlescent blue. Looking at the prototype, I was afraid that you wouldn't see all the details. And I love the cut at the back there, very elegant. And then I'll have to get her, <laughs> I'll have to get her head off to be able to get that plastic off, but otherwise, shouldn't be too difficult. Her hair's actually a lot thicker than I thought as well, which is great because I thought her hair was very thin on the prototype images. So as you can see, she's got quite a lot there. Oh my god, she is just stunning. <laughs> And now this is me trying to attach it, detach it from the base and it took me a while but I cut that for you, I don't need to see that, me struggling. And it's a clear basic base but I don't mind as long as it supports it well and oh, what a click. Take that off, let's just screw that back on. Oh, that was a satisfying click, goodness. Oh, I just can't stop looking at her. I need to get the rest of her out, but I just can't. She's just so gorgeous. Oh, and these shoes. Look at these graceful shoes. Now taking out the bouquet, gotta add the accessories. And initially, this was I was afraid that the flowers wouldn't be as well defined, sculpted, or painted definedly. But I'm actually quite pleasantly surprised with the results, and I think it is beautiful and nice touch with the bow there. Now then, these hair strands, and I thought they might be different, but they're actually the same. Just so in case one breaks, you have a spare, which is very thoughtful even though i don't plan on breaking either one of them i'll just put that one safely in that little plastic pocket oh and talking of plastic this figure just smells amazing like <laughs> i feel so bad saying that but this figure actually just it just had that epic plastic factory smell that just smelled really good too so this just this, oh, this unboxing is just so satisfying, not only for me and hopefully for yourselves as well. Now then, on to the most exciting bit. I just rubbed my hands there because how could I not? The wings. The thing I just love about Albedo's design is the wings. And let's have a look then. They're all layered, individually detailed, and they're a lot lighter than I thought it would be as a piece, which is great because I won't worry too much about it bending over time. But as you can see, it's got different colours tinted such as sort of black tunnels, different blues and very fine but there is actually glitter on the wings as well which I thought was a very beautiful touch. She could be a bit careful with that like too much glitter I don't know what that would be like but then the amount they put on there was just tasteful in my opinion. <laughs> Not bringing out I'm Summer's body pillow. Mm. <laughs> Hello, sexy. He's got a handkerchief there. Is that a handkerchief? It must be. Aw, you getting a little emotional? <laughs> now then, my dear, let's put your wings on and your bouquet. Off with the head again. And the wings clipped in pretty easily, just took an extra little wiggle and pressure just to get them right flush, but I was able to get both pretty flush in and oh, 
the sculpted motion in this piece gives it just breath. Now, I'm always nervous about putting things in the hands. I'm like praying for the paint transfer gods not to feel ill on me. And I was able to get that in. Well, thank goodness. The instructions, I won't lie, were actually very helpful. Just putting in her hair piece, which was probably the trickiest part to put in because it doesn't feel like it goes in clear way. But looking there also shows you the seam line. I like how they work the design in with the sculpted seam pieces. Not only does it look good design-wise, it also works with putting the figure together. Now, everyone, my terrible attempt of trying to make this accessory work. I didn't cut much out because it's pretty self-explanatory. Oh my god. <laughs> so here I'm trying to blow this up like an idiot and I think I need to grab this and poke a hole in it. Is that, is that what it's... Okay, there we go. Actually, didn't have a hole in it. You go. Great. Cheeks were exploding. <sighs> my cheeks. It's in my mouth cheeks. <laughs> I didn't fill up the complete pillow tight with air because I wanted it to look like a pillow after all. And that does have creases in it. And here we are. Now, looking at the base to put the pillow on. And I will say, this was intimidating to look at. I'm like, how does this even work? What? <laughs> but now I look at it now, I'm like, it is so simple. Playing around with it a little bit and looking at the instructions, which just really don't feel like they help for this particular part. Also there is, it is a clear plastic. You can take uh, a layers off this to make it a complete clear plastic, but I decided to keep it on. Since the pillow is covering most of it, I don't think it will distract me at all. And I'm not sure if I'll be able to fit the full stand in my display, but I wanted to bring it out and try it out, of course, because it has a function resting on there, maybe I'm not sure, maybe I could have them a bit upright would be perfect, but otherwise for the moment, this will do. And she is altogether complete with her gorgeous gentleman there in pillow form shape. Without further ado, let's bring on this showcase, shall we?
I did say review after all, so I thought I'll give a few little pointers on my thoughts. Sculpting. I feel like this illustration has been caught spot on with the sculpting. The dress folds are absolutely immaculate and they feel like they're just flowing down and feel weighted as well. The wings feel like they're attached well but also have enough motion to look part of the body and flow down lovely. Not to mention I love that every single feather feels sculpted individually. Her hair, beautiful motion. Of course I can always go with more crazy hair but I'm actually very satisfied in how it's both original to the illustration and how how it's presented in this final product as well. Horns, beautiful face, ah, oh, stunning. Flowers have a lot of well depth sculpted as well. The details on the dress are just beautiful. I'd give this overall 10 out of 10. Painting, 10 out of 10 as well. I love how they've given the, the subtle highlights, staying true to the illustration, but in the same token, making sure that the whole sculpture has enough colour to make it interesting and also to bring out all those lovely details. The posing is just, I think this is what makes this figure so breathtaking for me. It feels alive, you've got that full of gravitational pull. She looks alive as well, captured in the moment where she looks at her gorgeous to be hopefully husband one day, I in summer, and that smug look. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Base. It's simple, but for whatever reason, I don't mind it as much. I like that it's a clear plastic. It's not too large. Like, it, it doesn't seem too ridiculous considering the train of the dress is just very large itself. Obviously, it would be wonderful to have, like, maybe some sort of detailed stone church hall base with maybe some feathers on the ground. But that may be asking too much of figure companies these days, but you can only dream, one can dream, so that's why I can't give it full marks. 8 out of 10, but still not the worst decision they could have made. Box, 10 out of 10, absolutely beautiful, just ramped up my expectations for this figure and it delivered on them. Not only having the original illustration, but also having images of the actual figure of what to expect and that big window as well. Overall, if you can tell, I could not be more hyped about this figure. I've been annoying everyone all week with how thrilled I've been with unboxing this figure. I don't know what it is about her, she's not the most detailed Albedo figure I have, but she just seems so special in her way. Price-wise, she does seem a little high, I think a little bit lower would be more realistic as far as what you have to expect. But with what I have, I am very thrilled with results. If anything, I think it looks better than the prototype. I adore it. 10 out of 10. What more could I say? Now then, let's do a scale reference. Bring out my big Führer, a supposedly 1-7 scale, Ains a Lagoon. And of course, we need a guest. And what better than an arch enemy of Shaltier Bloodfallen? 1-7 scale by Kai Tendo. Gosh, I would kill for some new Overlord characters, especially my, <laughs> I don't know why, but I, I love Albedo, I love Sheltia, but I just love, what's her name, Bug Girl, she's just, oh, she's just gorgeous, I would love a figure of her, and of course the Albedo Nendoroid by Good Smile. Well then, Albedo, you've made it to the dreamland of having a wedding considering your body pillow is... And Summer isn't dressed up as a groom, he is a body pillow. I would adore to have, <laughs> that sounds quite odd, doesn't it? I would love to have an Ainz Algun in a suit just like this with Albedo, but alas, like her dreams of wedding him, he exists as a body pillow at this point. But we'll see. Dream on, Albedo. I believe in your dream. Um, who knows, maybe someday Senpai will notice you. Thank you all so much for joining me for this special figure unboxing. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Ooh, I still can't get over the hype. <laughs> Got quite a few packages coming in for Christmas. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment and subscribe. Until next time, stay safe, treat yourself and I'll see you next week. Bye.